What's up, you guys? Happy Friday. All right, I wanted to jump on and talk about some balance when we talk about business and hustle. So um, first of all, if you saw me earlier in the day, I feel a little better. So for those of you who struggle with sleep, I woke up at 2 a.m. and just was like, I got to go do stuff. So um, I, I'm not a huge coffee drinker anymore, but I did have some Starbucks, had a little nap, and I'm feeling good. So I have been, um, so a lot of you guys know I'm going to do my free five-day training in my Facebook group next week. So I've been talking to a lot of you guys, just getting responses from people that are joining the group. Um, and I want to talk about something that like just makes me smile because I freaking love it. Um, and then I was talking to one of my coaches yesterday about balance, right? And there's two things I think we need to balance, right? So for me, there's a huge balance in business between masculine energy and feminine energy, right? And so I am core masculine, like uh, my whole life, it was like, just get in and do the things and, and, and show up and laser focus and that, like, that was my go-to. Um, it did not serve me because it turned me into hustle and it turned into hustle for my worth. And it was just, it was, it's not a great energy to live in all the time for me. Um, when I became a hungry for happiness coach and, and started facilitating breath work, like that was the thing that like brought me into my feminine and brought me into that softer side and like the side of ease and allowing and like allowing the money and allowing the process and like all of that stuff. And I think one of the beautiful things that I have, that I've started to see in coaches that are really successful is balancing those two things, right? And understanding that like, there's a time and a place to be in the energy of get things done, um, hi Nancy. And there's a time and a place to be in that space of just openness and awareness and like really big observation of like, does this feel in alignment? Does this feel out of alignment? Like where am I coming from and understanding the intention, right? So in business, especially as, as a new coach, like you have to be putting in some effort, right? Like you have to be putting in effort, but that doesn't mean hustling, right? Like you may get to a point in your life where you can sit and, and meditate and just do that and everything's going to work. And it, because you've built up, you know, whatever, like I'm not there yet. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not there yet. I have a coach that is, and she's amazing. And I, I want to be there someday, but I'm just not there yet because at the place I am in my business, I still don't have the audience. Um, you know, it's just, it, there's a matter of putting in some work, right? Finding the people that need your message, showing up and serving them, doing the things, right? But when you're doing it from a place of inspired action and not from hustle, everything changes, right? So inspired action is, I have a message, my life has changed, I need to show up, I need to reach out to people, I know that I can help them, and I know that no matter what, like, I will never take advantage of everyone, and I really am here just to serve, and to, for me, it's always like, learn, teach, like, learn, grow, teach, learn, grow, teach, that's what we should all be doing, right? So I want you guys to think about, like, where do you have that balance in your life, and is there is there a teeter-totter, right? Are you, like, sometimes, like, I just want to meditate all day and do breath work, which I get that. I totally 100% get that. And some days that's what I need, right? Some days I need stuff to drop in. Um, and some days I'm like, okay, I got to actually go do the things, talk to the people, you know, do, do the marketing, do the stuff. Um, but I think what is really, really important is finding that balance and understanding too of like, what are you? Are you core masculine? Are you core feminine? Where do you need support as an entrepreneur for your business to grow, right? Because you are always going to be the roadblock of your business growing, right? So this is something I'm going to talk about next week, but, um, I've been loving the answers, um, in, inside my group. I just had someone that requested to join and, and her answer literally made me smile, um, or laugh. She was, so the question is like, what are the top three things you need? Um, and one of them was like staying grounded, being in alignment and making baller AF offers. Right. And I was like, exactly. That's perfect. Like there has to be this balance of like serving and growing and leading and, and marketing and, and all of those things. So I really want you guys to understand that that is so important. So um, if that speaks to you and you're like, I wanna grow my business in alignment, I wanna do this in a way that feels really good, but I also need to have some strategy, right? Like I talk about inside the Invincible Entrepreneur, that it's a balance between balancing you and taking care of you as an entrepreneur, and then actually having some business strategy to back it up that doesn't get you stuck in the muck and the technology and all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds intriguing to you or you know someone that needs to hear this next week, make sure you're inside the Invincible Entrepreneur. I'm going to go live for five days just pure on coaching. Um, if you do the things that I teach you to do every day for the five days next week, you will have organic leads and you will be on phone calls closing clients by the end of the week. So that's my big promise. But that also means you have to show up, you have to do the work and you have to do all the things. Okay. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. And if you're not inside that group and you want to be in there, let me know. Uh, if you find value in this video, I would love it if you share it. If you have coaches that you're like, hey, I'm in your group, but I've got some friends that want to be in there. It would mean the world to me if you invite them to that. Um, Nancy, it was great to talk to you yesterday. So 
good. And what's so been so much fun about this, you guys, is just meeting fun new people. So um, anyway, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Have an amazing weekend. And I will see you Monday inside the group. All right, guys. Take care.